Today, we're gonna look at the top five best class setups since the update. We're gonna get straight into it. So the first one I wanna talk about is this one right here, the actual Lockman sub, the MP5. This class is insane. It's really, really good at close range, really good at mid range, and long range is where I would say you don't wanna touch this gun. But the first thing is the XRK Sandstorm muzzle, which gives us vertical recoil control. In the tuning on this one, we're gonna put it to 0.44 recoil stabilization and 0.16 gun kick control. After that, we got the laser, which is the VLK Laser 7 Megawatt. Now, some people might not wanna throw this on. I suggest throwing it on. You get ADS and Smurt to Fire within the same attachment, and then you could actually tune them both individually as well to get more Smurt to Fire at 0.18 and more ADS at 23.03. And then after this one, we're gonna go for an underbarrel rather than a muzzle, or, a, or not a muzzle, a barrel. We need the underbarrel, it's more important, and the Merc 4 grip is gonna give us everything we need. We got hip fire accuracy, so you can start shooting at the hip before ADSing, which helps you guys a lot. Recoil settings, so when you are ADSing and you don't have too much recoil, hip recoil control and aim walking steadiness so it's pretty nice right there the tuning is gonna be 0.49 hip walking speed 0.30 ads speed and then we got the 40 round mags which is not tunable and the lm stockless mod again which is not tunable but you get ads sprint to fire movement and hip recoil control awesome attachment to have the next weapon on this list is the tac 56 now you guys can look at it right here i'm not going to get into details about this because this is a ranked play class setup this is not meant for regular multiplayer you could definitely use it on regular multiplayer but there's no tuning on this class as you guys can see nothing is tuned because on ranked unfortunately you just can't tune anything so that's it right there this is the tag 56 class you guys want to go ahead and take it the second weapon on this list we're going to move on to the third weapon now and arguably a really really good one now i'm not going to take credit for this class all right i'm not taking credit for it I, this is the first class that popped up when i googled it but i went ahead and i used this class and i'll show you guys quickly in the firing range before i show you the tuning it's pretty solid i mean i'll take credit for the tuning because that's I, I did do that myself but it's pretty solid even at long range as you guys can see it is accurate the Vel 46 has barely any recoil whatsoever but i'll take credit all the credit i can for the tuning because i did do that so the muzzle is the lacerta compensator for horizontal recoil control which is why it felt so easy to control this side to side the tuning on this is going to be recoil stabilization at 0.41 and gun kick control at 0.21 so it's pretty nice right there then we got the barrel which is the tango 228 barrel this one gives us damage range hip fire accuracy bullet velocity and in the tuning we're going to put the recoil steadiness up to 0.34 and the damage range to 0.23 i found this one to be the best then we got the Optic, the Cronin Mini Pro. Now, I wasn't sure I wanted to throw this on the Vel 46 because I felt like the Vel 46 was really nice. Like, the iron sight's awesome. You don't really need a sight. But I threw this on. And I was like, eh, yeah, let's just do it. And it worked. It actually worked. Now, I didn't actually change this. I'm going to change it now. I forgot to do that myself. But I'm going to put it to close, and I'm going to put the flinch resistance up rather than the AD. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to put the ADS up a bit because we're focusing a lot on recoil control, as you guys can see here. So on the other attachments, we kind of need a little a little bit quicker ADS because we're losing more ADS with this attachment here, and that's the 50-round mags. We lose movement speed, ADS, reload quickness, and sprint to fire speed. So definitely get that ADS up on the optic right there and the final attachment is the rear grip which is the schlager soldier grip i feel like they named it like this on purpose it's so hard to pronounce but anyways you get sprint to fire speed and ads speed and then they're both individual here as well so ads will be at 0.55 and sprint to fire at 0.23 respectively now this class is actually i don't understand why but it's really good, all right? It's really good. I, I, I don't get it. Going on to another weapon, we got the Singularity. Now, this is the M4. It's not the Singularity. That's just the, the variant I have for it. But this is the class for the M4 right here. I gave you guys this class earlier this week. And since the update, I still wouldn't change the class. It's still a solid weapon to use. It's still a solid class to use. So the RF Crown 50 is what we're going to be throwing on for the muzzle for horizontal and vertical recoil control. Now, that vertical recoil control is going to bother me a little bit until I find a perfect attachment to fix it, but there is some vertical. Let me show you guys what I mean right here. So we go into the firing range. That was weird, it lagged in the firing range. I don't know why that happened, but anyways, close range, it's all right. Mid range, it's all right. I don't know why those miss. And then you get to long range, and it was actually good, okay? You know what, just ignore that. I don't know why it's good. When I wanted to show you guys what I needed to show you, it doesn't, and when I wanted to show you guys that it's a solid straight shooter, it bounces everywhere. So that, the firing range is weird, man. Recoil stabilization at 0.49, gun kick control at 0.24. After that, we got the barrel, which is the 11.5 inch TH4 barrel for ADS speed and hip recoil control. Now, the hip recoil control, some of you guys might be like, eh, it's a useless thing. It's actually nice to have, 
it's pretty good to have for close range and stuff. Your gun doesn't fly everywhere and shoot everywhere. The recoil setting is at 0.44 and the ADS we're going to max out. Now, the reason we're maxing it out is because that's where the handling actually does get maxed out. I know these aren't linear. I know you could change it around and stuff, but it's not higher here. The highest is when it's actually maxed out. So go ahead and max that out right there. The Cronin mini dot is what I like. It's one of the nicest sights in the game, I find. And the tuning on this is going to be ADS at 2.52 and you're going to set it all the way to close. So the enemies appear closer. They seem bigger and it's just you're not looking at your gun really far away from your face from your eyeballs which shouldn't be a thing but it is somehow anyways the tempest p80 strike stock is, is pretty nice it's i hate these names man you get sprint speed aim walking speed crouch movement speed and ads the tuning on this one is ads 3.10 aim walking speed 0.70 you need it man you really need that aim walking speed up because if not you're just a sitting duck even with that up you guys are going to see this gun isn't that fast when you're ads walking it's it's not that bad now that it's at 0.70 before it felt like this this is really so if you're trying to dodge bullets and you're shooting at this speed the enemies are going to hit you nicely if you're moving like this and you're going down and then you're hopping back up and you're jumping and stuff you're going to be you're kind of hard to hit so that's why i recommend putting that up right there and the final one is the rear grip the second zx grip for recoil control that's all we need on it. and we're going to get ads speed at 0.55 and sprint to fire speed at 0.16 now the reason i say this is because the attachment itself as you guys can see it gives recoil control that's awesome and in the tuning you could even up the ads speed and sprint to fire speed and as you guys can see those are not negatives they're not cons on this attachment so technically you're getting recoil control ads speed and sprint to fire speed if you were to go and throw on this attachment here for sprint to fire speed and ads speed sure you might get a little more of those but you're losing recoil control you can't even tune it to not lose recoil control you're gonna lose it so this one here gives recoil control ads and sprint to fire so that's why i recommend running that one right there and for the final weapon on this list guys we're gonna go into this one right here the cast off 74u it is so nice this gun all right this gun's never changing no matter what season we're in this is gonna be a gun that's gonna always be amazing now this is the class I'm going to change again one thing on it, but we're going to get into that afterwards just to show you guys. But the first thing is the muzzle, and that's the FSS Covert V for sound suppression, bullet velocity, and recoil smoothness. If you want to change this, I always recommend going to the first one right here, the Corvus slash Gen 2 for recoil settings. It just seems like the recoil settings on this one works a little better but the gun just feels a lot slower a lot heavier so that's why i have it set to that covert v right there the tuning on this one uh, no what the tuning on this one's going to be all the way up right here at 1.18 for recoil smoothness and we're going to put the bullet velocity up just right where it moves right there at 0.56 that's going to be pretty solid right there the barrel on this one is going to be the i don't know why this is happening I'm using the exact variant of this weapon and the tuning is, is it's it's really messing up with me right now i don't i don't know why anyways i i changed the tuning myself but i kept the attachments and it was solid but anyways the movement speed and ads speed is what you get with the br209 barrel the tuning we're gonna have to redo it again guys i don't know why it's doing this to me but this game's weird sometimes we're gonna set the recoil settings i'm trying to get it perfectly there 0.19 right there and we're gonna set the ads rather than the damage range up to 0.19 as well respectively both of those are gonna say at 0.19 the reason you don't care about the damage range on this gun is because it's not gonna change a thing whether you have it set to the max or not you're not gonna kill one person in one less bullet it's still gonna take the same amount after that we got the f tack tiger grip or the shark fin now honestly i'm keeping this one on just because it looks nice with the gun it suits the camo and everything everything fits perfectly but i would recommend the shark fin instead but i'm gonna go with the f tack tiger uh tiger grip right there and in the tuning we got to redo it again we're gonna put the ads up to 0 0.30 and we're gonna leave the bottom as is we're not gonna touch the bottom one whatsoever after that we got the true tack grip which i would always run whether it's this variant or not it works perfectly on the cast off 74u it's something i would always recommend using you get sprint to fire and ads Again, the tuning we're going to have to fix. I, I, that's bothering me, actually, right? I think it's right about right here. 0 0.66, 0 0.56, somewhere around there. It's, I'm, I'm just going to go at 0.68 right there. And the sprint to fire speed, we're also going to put up to 0.29. And then for the final attachment, the Spetsnaz S10 stock. Now, this one gives you aiming stability, crouch movement speed, ADS, and sprint speed. That ADS and sprint speed are both what I like a lot on this. And again, we're going to have to redo it. The ADS we're going to put up to 2.16, and the bottom one we're going to leave as is. That is it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to drop drop a like season four is finally here I feel like season three took forever man i don't know why but you guys like i said just drop a like it'll help me out a lot sub to the channel if there's nobody's turned on my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one peace